guys, what's up? Channy here. So today I'm going to talk about the top five things that I find extremely, extremely attractive and maybe not so attractive in men. Something that's really, really unattractive, first of all, number one, is when a man is not confident. When a man self-deprecates himself and by this I mean he paints a poor picture of himself, he's not confident, he shares all his insecurities, and it's kind of the woe is me. Actually, it's exactly the woe is me. And there is not a bigger turnoff than that. Everything is gonna kind of correlate together here. Number two is being confident without being overly cocky. Now, being cocky can come off as kind of rude, kind of condescending, kind of arrogant, kind of a mixture of everything. It's really, really not attractive. A confident man is happy with himself, he's happy with his life, he's not afraid to show it. Now, number three also correlates with number one and number two. You know how a guy tells us to smile? Well, it's really important that you smile as well. It shows that you're secure with your life, it shows warmth. It kind of enables us to be able to get close to you. Say you're walking down the street and you smile at a girl, it shows that you're happy inside, that you're secure with yourself, that you're willing to open up. There is nothing wrong with a good smile. Number four, have a sense of humor. It is so attractive when a guy has a sense of humor. I myself kind of have like a dry, what can I say, a dry slapstick, dark humor, but it is so attractive when a guy knows how to laugh, when a guy knows how to tell a joke, and you don't have to know how to tell a joke. You just should know how to laugh at one. It builds a relationship, it shows that you're open and you're willing to have a good laugh, and that's always important. And number five, I cannot stress this enough, be attentive, I know us girls can talk a lot, but it is so, so important that you're attentive to her, and of course vice versa, but I know for a fact that I can fall in love super easily if a guy is being attentive to me and he remembers little things I say or little mannerisms that I have or when I get nervous or things that I like to eat or just anything. Just be attentive, remember what we're talking about, and that is so hot when you can bring something up and I mean that is number one. Anyway you guys, that is my top five things that I can like and dislike about guys. And I know I'm not alone on this. I know I have a lot of girlfriends that think the same as me. So anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already, then do so. Anyway, thanks so much you guys for watching. Peace out.